Well, hi everyone, it's Nicole here and welcome back. Hopefully you enjoy the video today, I'm sure you're going to. Today we're going to be talking about cranberry hibiscus. It's in the same family as roselle hibiscus, but this is slightly different. It's an African plant, well in Africa they call it uh, rose mallow hibiscus. And the wonderful thing about this, you can make so much things with it. And we're going to try a variety of different things today. You can actually eat the leaves. Now, the leaves um, taste tangy. And I'm going to show you a close-up so you can see um, what we do, how we use it, and how we're going, going to actually grow a large amount of this. Because you can use it in salads. Um, I'm going to try making it, uh, using it in some breads. So that's really exciting. So come along and let's see. Now you can see here, the leaves are, they have a slightly jagged edge and slightly lighter underneath with little veins through. And these are edible. So you can put them in a salad, you can put them in a sandwich, um, you can dehydrate them, which I'm going to do. But I'm going to show you lots of different things that you can do with this wonderful plant and how to regrow it because I am all for making multiple plants out of one plant. So here we have some cranberry hibiscus that we did the cuttings from. And as you can see here, can you actually see all the roots there? All the roots from the cuttings. Now these are about two weeks, maybe 10 days to two weeks old. And I'm going to take one out so you can actually see the cuttings. Because we actually cut them, I'd say about eight inches. And you can see the roots here. That's the root system on those. Can you see that? Yeah, there we go. You can see those are about two weeks old. I wouldn't say they're more than that. And they're about eight inches. And all of this here is the growth. You can see all the new growth here on either side. And the leaves that are new, that it, the, see the green? They're, they're new. And then that one there is turning slightly uh, you know, like a plum cranberry color. So um, these are actually, will soon be ready to be planted. I will actually plant these and we'll have a whole stretch of cranberry hibiscus because actually when you harvest the leaves and dehydrate them, they actually shrivel up. So uh, we'll do that. And um, I'm going to um, watch what we do, okay? Now, this cranberry hibiscus is about, uh, yeah, about a year old. I had it from a cutting, and I had two cuttings, about 10 inches, and I put them in water, and a year later, they're five foot high. They grow very fast, and they, um, they bush out quite a lot, because I think, yeah, if you look at the base, I don't know whether you can see down there, but there's just two large stems there. And these are some of the cuttings and they just shoot out. They actually have flowers on, which you can see. That flower's closed, that's died now, but they did have flowers. And you can eat the flowers too. Actually, I didn't notice that there's seeds in there. That's interesting. So, yeah, so that's the other way I guess you can... Um, can grow it from the seeds here or I find it easy just to pop it in water and uh, we're going to actually do a whole row of these and then we'll harvest all the hibiscus leaves and we'll save those because they're um, very high in vitamin C they're good for your liver cranberry is good for your kidneys so there's a variety of um, beneficial um, medicinal uses for this wonderful plant.
So here is some of the cranberry hibiscus that I dehydrated earlier and it's crispy now to the touch and I'm taking it out of the dehydrator and placing it in jars so we can have that for storage. And you can see once it's been dehydrated it's kept its colour rather well. And as long as it's in an airtight container it will stay dry and fresh and there'll be no moisture that will get into the jar. So now I'm just finishing off emptying the dehydrator because I managed to do about 10 trays. Now you could dry the cranberry hibiscus just by hanging, hanging it up, you know, uh, tight with some twine, but I just chose to put it in the dehydrator because I actually have a lot of herbs already hanging. Now I'm really trying to pack the cranberry hibiscus in these jars so I can, you know, make as much room as possible so I can limit the amount of jars that I'm using. Then just above me I had some canning jar rings that I just placed up there so I'm just going to um, put the rings on the jars and then we are all set for the dehydrated cranberry hibiscus. I like to keep some of the rings above the sink area because it's so much more convenient. So we managed to do three jars full of the cranberry hibiscus. So I'm, you know, I'm very pleased with that. Now I have some bottles already washed and these will be ready for the next project that we'll do. So I'm just going to get some water, put it in a saucepan and then we'll get that boiled so we can make a like a syrup type drink with the, the leaves. So now I'm washing some fresh cranberry hibiscus leaves, giving them a good wash, just ensuring that there's no dirt or any little bugs on there. Very little bugs actually uh, attack this plant, which is a good thing, but I'm giving it a wash. And then what I'm going to do is put some salt in there. So if there's any bugs on there that I cannot see, the salt will kill them off. And then after that, we'll give it a good wash so that um, it's fresh and it's clean and it's ready to be used. Now you don't have to leave the salt on there for very long, uh, a couple of minutes maybe, but max. And then just ensure that you give it a good wash after to get any remainder um, of residue of the salt off.
So while that's just sitting in the sink and the water is boiling, I'm going to quickly pop outside, cut some rosemary, some fresh rosemary from um, this plant here. We've had it uh, quite a while and it's actually huge. It's, it must be at least nearly, you know, four and a half feet wide. So um, we'll cut some of this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a drink with this along with the cranberry hibiscus. It's going to be so, so good. So I'm just going to put some sugar in the boiling water and you could use honey, you could use brown sugar, white sugar, um, anything really to sweeten it. But I just had, that was the nearest thing on hand, the white sugar, so I just used that. And now I'm going to just place in the cranberry hibiscus leaves. As you can see, the red, you know, I didn't have any of the flowers, but you could actually put the flowers in there too. I just put the leaves in there, let that simmer for a little while and um, let it cool slightly and then it will be ready. Now I'll just wash the rosemary. You don't really need to do much with the rosemary because these have not been sprayed with anything, no pesticides or chemicals. So let's just give that a quick wash and take any little dead bits off the ends and it'll be ready. So now what I'm doing is I'm just straining the leaves from the liquid so that we can then pour it into the bottles. It smells really, really good. Just remember, don't pour that boiling water straight into the glass bottle. Do let it cool a little and um, once it's at uh, I'd say room temperature then you can place you know the liquid into the bottle. So now the first bottle is done, the second bottle what I've decided to do is place some of that rosemary, the rosemary sprigs, into the bottle. I've tried to put quite a lot in there so it can give it a real uh, strong taste of rosemary and cranberry hibiscus. And um, so I've packed it quite full and then what I'll do is I'll put the cranberry hibiscus liquid into that and I'll let it seep for, I don't know, maybe a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks, and then that will be ready. Now this drink is going to be fabulous. The cranberry hibiscus liquid along with the rosemary, letting that seep and all those uh, flavors just uh, mixing in with the, the liquid is going to be wonderful. So there we have it, one bottle of 
cranberry hibiscus and the second one is cranberry hibiscus and rosemary so there was a little of the liquid left so i'm just going to make myself a little drink with that place some ice in a little glass pour some of the cranberry hibiscus liquid in there not too much because remember it it has been sweetened add some water and that's such a refreshing drink on a hot summer day hey everyone so that is it for now i hope you enjoyed this grow some cranberry hibiscus it is a wonderful wonderful plant makes a delightful drink enjoy until next time see you again